This problem is asking us to write the standard form of this ellipse described as having two foci at negative four, negative three, six, negative three, and then also a B value of just three. Okay, so let me graph these two foci and let's kind of see what that looks like on the graph provided over here. All right, so I labeled the two foci as F1 and F2 for these two points, negative four, negative three, and six, negative three. All right, and then if you think about it, if you just kind of come into between those two things, that's gonna be the center, right? The foci are equidistant away from your center. So if I count the number of squares here that's in between those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I would go five in each direction and get closer to the, to the middle, that's gonna be my center. So if I do that, one, two, three, four, five, right there at one down to negative three. So I think one negative three will be my center. Remember that's my H and K values. And we're gonna use that here in a second when we write the standard form um, in a little bit. However, just like that is along our major axis, our minor axis is where our B value is. So if I go perpendicular in the Y direction, three spots up and three spots down, that's gonna be um, my, minor axis vertices, right? So if I go up one, two, three, that's on my X axis there, and then down one, two, three, right here, that's this value B that was given to us in our directions. Okay, so why does this help us? Well, it does because you think this foci value in between here and here, that is our C. And remember, we need A and B, not Bs and Cs, in order to write this in standard form, but we're given this equation, it kind of looks like the Pythagorean theorem, but it's actually A squared minus B squared equals C squared. And if I plug those in, I think I'll have enough to find A by uh, doing a little bit of math, all right? So let's see here, A squared minus my B, we said was three, or three squared is nine. And then the C value was, what did we say that was? One, two, three, four, five. So if I replace C, squared with 25, just like this, that should be enough here to solve for A. Add nine to both sides, and A squared equals 34, okay? And really, you don't have to find just A. You can just leave this as A squared, because remember, our standard form has our two X minus H, Y minus K values over A squared and B squared, right? Not just A and B, but A squared, B squared. So for example, this is what the standard form looks like before I put any of the information in. Um, and it's of course oriented in the X direction. So it'd be X minus H quantity squared over A squared plus Y minus K quantity squared over B squared, and that equals one, all right? Or in my case, if I input this information in here, X minus my H, X minus one quantity squared, over the a squared again, I don't need to simplify this because I need to just put a 34 down here, plus, and then y minus the k, y minus the negative three is y plus three, quantity squared, over the b squared, well again, b was three, that was given to us in the directions, so over nine, and then all ellipses always equal one. So in this box down here is the standard form of this ellipse described by giving these two foci and the b value of three. All right, guys, if this video helped you out, please help me out by liking it down below. That really does help me. All right, and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed yet. And then you also might find this video helpful as you do more ellipse problems. See you in the next one.